very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking just very quickly here I just wanted to share with you the results of the premium group just very quickly here uh, I just wanted to show you the results of last of this Monday and Tuesday so far we can see that Angela has sent here the signals on March 9 and we can see that we had two profits against one loss here then here we can see that she made 70 pips of profit after these signals the pound gpy has hit and take profit level 3 with total of 140 pips of profit against one loss of the euro pound then today today was actually great these are the signals which have been sent today we can see all of them are actually in profit look at that you can do the math check how many pips that was actually that's really was a lot of pips that's really great results and so far we are doing so well we are back in good action and finally the signals are doing great much better than the last week I'm really glad for that and I hope uh, this week will continue in this way so uh, if you wish to join the Extreme Trader Premium Signals Group, please don't hesitate to contact Angela. You can find her contact details in the description below this video. Contact her today and hopefully we will see you there soon. So let's go now to the midweek analysis. And actually all of the analysis which I have sent last Saturday are not valid anymore. Of course, that's because of the huge gap which happened at the Monday opening yesterday. Um, no wonder of course i mean that is that was because of the price war between saudi arabia and russia for the oil and of course there was that uh, disagreement in uh, opec that was uh, the reason actually the market has made this a huge uh, actually yesterday was a huge loss in the wall street um it they, they are calling it now right now uh, the black monday i mean the, the losses were huge they even suspended the trading in the wall street for almost 15 minutes i mean that was crazy that never happened before since the huge uh, economic crisis back in 2008 so what are we going to do right now with this market so let's now just get rid of all these lines and change all of these signals because they are not valid any longer now let's see here Go back to the daily candles on the euro USD. That is, of course, the huge cap which happened on the Monday opening. Now we need to start continuing analyzing because what happened actually was a reaction of the news about the potential price war between Saudi and Russia. Now what we can see here that we have here a resistance attempt, which was a resistance number one. And looking at that, or remember, we are on the daily candles. So looking at this candles here. The closing of these candles, they closed exactly at this resistance line, meaning that they are actually respecting this resistance level here. Therefore, we are having here resistance number two. Great. So now what we are looking for on the Euro USD is for the short. Where exactly should we start shorting? Now, since we had the reversal happened right on this resistance, we can expect for the next reversal to happen exactly right here like this remember we are on the daily candles so we are having here a resistance zone right here this is a, this is a resistance zone which I have just drawn here so our only chance to start shorting again for the euro USD is waiting for the bounce to happen because right now we can see that we are having here a support level this support is actually keeping its position as a support as well so we are now we can expecting for the market to actually make a bounce right here so the candle will go up here and i suggest that we can start short the euro usd right on this level and then keep the trade running all the way until the market hit this nearest resistance right here and that's actually can provide for us almost 158 pips of profit uh, let me just go back to the four hour chart just to confirm exactly Looking at the 4-hour chart, we can see that we are having here already an attempt of a resistance. Therefore, there is a slight chance that the market actually might continue falling down already. Now, of course, we cannot be sure. We can only hope for the best. As I said, we are having here a support level on this level. And we can expect for the market to make the bounce and reverse right on this, uh, this resistance level. So let me just write for you the new uh, levels for your sell orders. You can start short on 1.13920 and this time let me set for you a stop loss 
so my stop loss is gonna be if we can see a breakout candle breaking out right of this resistance and actually uh, I will set my stop loss to be somewhere here right here so our loss will be maximum 50 pips actually that's a lot let me just change it um, it's actually fair enough right here let me just look at the one hour chart yes yes definitely if we see a breakout candle breaking out of this resistance it's gonna continue going more up therefore let's have a stop loss right here so this is gonna be your stop loss so stop loss is on 1.14374 again please do that only if you see a price action of a breakout candle so you had here the sell order and the stop, lo stop loss and let's see your tech profit level is gonna be actually right on this previous resistance right here which was already a support also so this is the previous resistance and we can expect for the market to keep falling down until it hit this level you you know something i will make it actually sooner than that why because actually the market might actually reverse right before reaching this resistance it might actually continue the rise therefore i'm just gonna set my take profit level to be at this previous resistance instead of this just in case and just to be safe and hopefully uh, it's gonna be more actually safe and accurate so this is our tech profit is gonna be on 1.12471 um if you want to re you risk if you actually maybe you can start short the euro usd right away i think what we are witnessing right now while i'm recording is a breakout of this trend line here as we can see that we are having here a support trend line and we are right now on the one hour chart and this candle has only 42 seconds for the closure you know something let's wait and see how this candle is gonna close because if this candle gonna close as the full breakout candle of the support level it means that i'm too late and the market is already gonna start falling down but look at that at the last seconds of the candle we can see that the candle is reversing to create the final shape therefore we ha we always have to wait uh, until the candle closer uh, sorry uh, until the candle close then we can decide what price action does the candle telling us so far okay eight seven six three two one and the candle has closed it did not break out of the resistance level uh, of the support level sorry as we can see what i'm having here a support level the candle did not close as a breakout of the support therefore we can still expect from the market to continue rising more up as i said for 51 pips until it hit our take profit uh, uh, buy order uh, sorry sell uh, signal that's good okay uh, let's right now check the pound usd pound usd oh my god the pound usd <laughs> it's falling too much uh actually i think today angela has sent the signal yeah she sent now the pound usd has hit and take profit level three with 120 pips she sent the signal here to sell the pound usd on this level as we can see the signal worked really very well and uh, 130 pips has been delivered to the members in the premium group fantastic so now what's next let me just get rid of the old signal it's not valid anymore as i said now looking at the left for the pound usd let me just tell you why did angela select uh, this level to be the tech profit it's because she can see that we are having here a previous resistance and of course not to mention the strong support level right here that's why this level was selected to be as the tech profit level three now what we can expect from the pound usd is actually to reverse it's gonna make a small bouncing on this level let me just uh, make it clear for you it's gonna make a small bounce i don't think it's gonna rise that much one second let me just use the trend lines for sure yes we can see that the candle is gonna reverse right here we just need to know how far is this candle gonna reverse and looking at this actually it gives me much better view so i can look at the left and see the strong resistance levels now seeing this exactly like this now we can see that we're having here a very strong resistance uh, zone which was also a strong support in the past and also it was a resistance right here therefore 
we can expect from the pound USD to actually rise a little bit now making a small bounce of almost 40 pips you know something actually I'm not very convinced I mean that is much better this one yeah like that like this yeah actually th that does feel a lot better right now so we can expect from the pound USD to make a small bouncing after hitting the support level right here and the support here so it's gonna bounce all the way here until it hit this previous resistance then it's gonna be good again for the short so let me just uh, write for you that we can start actually sell the pound USD on the level 1.30143 and your stop loss is gonna be let me just uh, take a look if we can see a breakout candle 50 pips actually that's a lot uh, we're having here a resistance right here just let me just be sure just let me be sure please actually maybe I should start analyzing uh, before recording that's gonna help a lot uh, oh yeah definitely okay mm, yeah okay so that's oh, that's gonna be right here the stop loss can be almost right here exactly like that uh, sadly it's gonna be almost 45 pips that's your stop loss for the pound USD 1.30594 of course only if you see a bullish breakout candle from this uh, uh, level we can see that the pound USD is still falling actually it doesn't seem like the pound USD is gonna reverse right now it's just continue to fall more we are gonna wait because actually my my take profit is gonna be right on this support level right here and I think the pair is just gonna continue reversing however I cannot uh, st uh, stop the recording just to see what will gonna happen so I'm just gonna select my stake profit level to be right here exactly like that so look look at that the bounce is happening already perfect so we can look for almost 151 pips of profit hopefully we are gonna get them all so take profit is gonna be on 1.28642 hopefully the market is gonna be loyal and uh, we are gonna make some good profit out of this signal let's check right now the AUD USD which has made a huge bounce actually look at that look at these wicks they are scary actually one one week here or one candle 300 pips that's a lot of course so let me now go to the daily candles and what we can see right now here is we had a support level right here exactly like this we had here a support number one and right now the market here is on a support number two so what next what can we expect from the AUD USD now this rejection this re rejection cannot be ignored I believe that the market is actually on is starting tomorrow is gonna make a bullish reversal and it's gonna go all the way up until it hit this resistance level again that's actually a lot of pips we're looking for we're talking about 178 pips so let's go back to the four hour chart and this long tail here is actually scary for many traders however remember that this was just a reaction of on the market of the news we don't really have to pay so much attention to this one uh, anyway let me just look, look at the left to find if this was a strong support level in the past actually I cannot see anything at all so let's see what will gonna happen my mouse suddenly is very slow um, just hold on guys one second I need to pause yeah now it's okay so uh, for the AUD USD as I said we need to wait until this candle close for today and I think we can start buying the AUD USD right on this level let me again just check the 30 minute time frame always check the, th the smaller time frames so you can tell where exactly is the support level now looking at the 30 minute time frame I can see that we are having here a support level right here which was also a strong support right here always if you are seeing these long tails here always go to the smaller time frame and what, what you can see here is the small wicks right like that 
So the best thing you can do is actually draw your line or the support line in a way touching both of these wicks like that. So now we are having the perfect level where you can expect for the market to actually start reversing. Uh, that is actually very helpful for those who, get, who are getting confused when they are seeing these long tails here like that. Like that. Good. All right. So I would assume that we can start buying the AUD USD if the candle is going to continue its bearish momentum. As if it's going to fall for almost 31 pips, we can start buying the AUD USD right on this level. And let me just uh, mention it for you buy on the level 0.64512 actually don't keep your trade running for so long i mean uh, the market is really not so stable therefore i'm gonna select this previous support level to be my take profit right here and that is gonna be my take profit take profit on 0.65367 and the stop loss let me just look at the left just to, to, uh, to decide my stop loss actually my stop loss is gonna be if the candle is gonna fall below this support level this one here this support level here I'm gonna select this to be my stop loss if the candle is gonna fall for almost 31 pips below this support level uh, that's gonna be our stop loss on 0.6416 seven hopefully the market is going to be loyal to this analysis and we're going to make some good profit out of it let's check right now the usd gpy usd gpy has made some really interesting movement right now uh, the pair was in the bearish momentum for a really long time of course this signal is not valid anymore since the market has opened right below it um actually i was going to send the signal to start selling the usd gpy right on this level exactly right here because we can see that we are having here a previous support level on daily candles we can see that we are having uh, this is the support pre previous support right here and right here and it was really good chance to start shorting the usd gpy right after the market retest this broken support level and it's gonna continue falling all the way down until it hit the absolute bottom of this support level Go back to the four hour chart and our actually our only hope is to short the USD GPY again when it rises for almost 50 pips. Let me just uh, don't delay anymore. Sell the USD GPY on 104.630 and our stop loss is going to be if the market is actually going to break out of this resistance. Oh my God, 90 pips. I, what can I do? That's the stop loss. I know it's a lot. I cannot do anything about it. Let me go to the one hour chart. Yeah, I cannot do anything about it. Actually, that's that's a lot. It's a lot. 70 pips. Always please use a very uh, wise lot size, my friends. 382. Actually, there is no escape of this one because that is where the market is right on. The stop loss uh, can only be sitting there and our tech profit level is going to be right on this previous support level which was also a previous resistance so just to be safe we can start shorting the usd gpy and aiming hopefully 180 pips of profit this is our tech profit here on 102.803 all right so let's now move to the next pair which is the usd cad Again, the USD CAD signal is not valid, of course, because the market has opened way uh, above this level. So, what can we expect now from the USD CAD? Go back to the to the. Uh, oh my God! Look at that, perfect. On daily candles, we can see that we are right now hitting uh, this resistance level. Therefore, USD CAD is really good for the short right now. I mean, it doesn't really require a lot of analysis. We can st uh, sell now on 1.3774. I just wrote the level so it's gonna be for my references and definitely yes we can start sh uh, shorting the USD CAD right away and our take profit level is gonna be set right here on this previous resistance so we can aim almost 100 pips of profit 
um, take profit is gonna be on 1.36653 and of course not to mention the stop loss let me just look at the stop loss where it can be uh, placed if it's uh, if the candle is actually gonna reach this resistance level so almost 42 pips that's our stop loss for the USD CAD uh, 1.38206 so hopefully uh, it's a clear signal for the USD CAD. We can start shorting it right away. Uh, let's go quickly to the USD CHF. I mean, I mean, I really, I really, uh, <laughs> I really need to uh, upload this video very quickly. Uh, USD CHF is not seeing a good days. The pair has actually made a huge fall of this uh, from this support level, and we can see that the market is right now ranging right on the support. Um, which has been there for a really long time. We're talking about since 2015. So what's next? I think the USD CHF is actually making a bounce right now. Uh, the pair most likely is gonna fall down again to our buy level and gonna make another attempt. Let's go to the four hour chart. We can see that we already here having attempt number one of the support and our good chance is to start buying the USD CHF again when the candle fall down to create a, a support number two. This support number one here is very important because it tells us exactly where we can expect for the market to start reversing. I mean, where we can, where can we expect from the market to start its bullish reversal? Therefore, our only hope right now is waiting for the candles to actually fall to hit the support number one again. And let's see, this is our buy order on 0 0.92872. Not to mention that, of course, our stop loss is going to be... <laughs> what can I do? Um, okay, let me just uh, be more safe. I will set my, take pro my stop loss to, to be right below the support level. Let me go to the one hour chart. Uh, yes, that's more convenient. If the candle is gonna go below this support right here, I'm I'm looking at this support right here, this one here. Because if the if the candle is actually gonna fall down below the support, we can expect for it to reverse right on this support here, the next support. If the candle is gonna continue falling, however, so the next support is laying right here, then this signal is not valid anymore. Therefore, this is gonna be my stop loss with almost. Yeah, that's more convenient, almost uh, 28 pips. That's our stop loss on 0 0.92563. And our take profit level, if we place the buy order right here, we can look for almost 131 pips of profit. I mean, I hope these signals will be going to be valid because the market is, uh, is on very high volatility right now. It's moving very quickly and actually I'm just hoping that the market is going to make one small reversal here to hit our take, uh, our buy level. Actually, I'm just hoping for it actually. Yeah, what we can do. That's the best I can do actually. All right. Now the last signal, let's go to the gold. Now the gold is on very interesting level because actually it is really good for short today. As we can see right here, what we are having here is a breaking out of the support level. As we can see here, we had a support level and we can see that we had here this bearish candle. It has broken out of the support. Therefore, uh, looking at the left, we can see that we also had here a resistance attempts as well. So these two resistance kept their position as a resistance and most likely the gold is going to continue falling right away until it hit this previous support level right here. Therefore, uh, go back to the one hour chart. Um, our good chance is to start shorting the gold again on the level. Oh, only if we get some good uh, uh, pulse of the candle. I mean, if the candle reverses or bounces from this current support here. Uh, we can start shorting on 1660.26. What I'm saying is we can hope for the candle is actually going to reverse on this support here, going to go up here, hit this previous resistance, and then going to start falling. And oh my goodness, it's already fall, uh, reversing. Uh, my take profit is going to be right on this previous support here, right here. So we can expect hopefully 242 pips of profit from selling the gold. Actually, it is more than that, 
but I'm just uh, trying to be giving a safe signal to my followers. And the stop loss is going to be right if this candle actually break out of this previous resistance right here. And sorry, my friends, uh, we always have to be very careful when we are uh, trading the gold. Don't use a lot, uh, big lot sizes. So the stop loss is going to be on 1668.90. The candle is already reversing, so I'm going to publish this video right away. Therefore, uh, I hope this is going to be really good for everyone. In the end, I hope that was informative to you, and I would like to thank you for watching.